Welcome back, Commander. Welcome, Core fans. We're back together once again with another classic game in with Hill. And with my special guest once again, Dietrich's 111. The man, the myth, the legend, the man that's at the peak. He is here mm -hmm. with me. That's so awesome. I mean, you guys, core fans, I gotta say, you know, you talk so much greatness about this man. He's a mountain man that is beyond a myth, a legend of that facsimile thereof of today and tomorrow of next year. One guy, like definitely respect. <laughs> All 2023, you know, this guy kept, you know, Corpache running for so long. So amazing for everything he's done. I appreciate everything he's done. You know, um, Dietrich, I hope you get laid. You deserve it. Done wonders. Yeah, ran this company was strong. Well, proud. You know, with, with me gone, you know, dealing with a lot of personal issues and whatnot. You, you, you're the man, dude. You're the man to be. It's like... If you think about it, core fans, right? Who's the man to be, but who's the man to beat? Do you really want to jump on Space Mountain? He's a fucking legend. Well, look guess, at him. Look, uh, look, look at this guy. <laughs> Pissing off multi-billion dollar companies every day. Every Just by breathing. Boy, did I have to sign on a lot of paperwork last year. <laughs> Did I have to sign over a lot of things that say, yep, that's, um, it's, it's okay. This is who we are. So, uh, yeah. Um, Welcome to reality. <laughs> anyway, speaking about reality, core fans, let's hit our first commercial break. And we're back, core fans. Man, what a commercial break. I gotta say. Woo -hoo -hoo. So anyway, Dietrich, what game are we playing today? Well, it's another NES game that you're going to want to throw out the window. Dude, after what you did to me last time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're going to put Don't me worry. It. Yes, we're going to go through it again. Why? This is like why? the gauntlet why? Why? of the... Why, why like, would they do this? like the hell version of like games I have to go through or something right now. Cause now uh, when I get my new PS2 or PS1, that will actually work on my console or well, my computer, maybe in my Japanese PS1, which I'm probably going to need. Uh, well, the way I look at it this way, it seems how I can't get you to rant on rant on Tomb Raider at this point in time. We might as well put you through the best rants of an NES that I can think of in the cornucopia of shit that I can think of. Because, let's face it, it is fun to play classic games that just don't make the Oh, they don't shit on you, Bubbles. Shit on you. Don't really make the cut. And a lot shit of things that people really forget they about that actually even off. existed mm -hmm. in the past. And, like, you know... We have a rating system here in TC Comics, you know, of games that we play and whatnot. Um, and uh, the last episode really, really grind my gears down to a zero. So uh, maybe this one will actually make the cut. I don't know. We'll find out. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this one here, core fans. Friday the 13th. I know it's not even Halloween right now, but you know what? Um, me and Deezer are going to be redoing some really cool, awesome Castlevania episodes this mm -hmm. year. Me and him. This Halloween. Oh, yeah. We're going to be hitting hard. Now, last year, we did, you know, season three. We did, you know, um, what was it? Uh, Castlevania 
uh, two. Um, that was really good. Yep. You really hit it hard with that one. I thought that was really cool. You really brought the elements. You really brought your A game on that one, man. I was proud mm-hmm. of you. We're we're gonna have to do S O T N. Oh, Dietrich. that that's a fan favorite. Dietrich style. Dietrich mm-hmm. will be taking over the helm, not me. How about this, Dietrich? You do S O T N on Sega Saturn. <laughs> Ooh! I bring the Japanese Sega Saturn. You play it. There's two other different areas with the Saturn. Yes, Dietrich. Can you bring your A game on that one, man? <laughs> How do you for fans? Stay tuned. We got plenty more coming for you. But right now, we're gonna jump into NES once again. Play Friday the Thirteenth because it's just it's got to be done. You know, it's just it's just got to be the done. Fuck not. You know, there's only one guy who can do it. You know, so. Okay. Copyright back in 1988. Paramount Pictures. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this, so you get to pick George, Mark, or Paul. Well, who do you want me to play as, Cedric? You pick. Well, it doesn't matter because they all have different stats. Like... You know what? I'll pick Paul first. Paul seems like a good guy. You know, look at him. He's got a good smile on his face. Mark seems like a dick. And this guy, George, over here, he's just like, <laughs> I'm high as fuck. So, anyway. Okay, so this one you're going to have a little interesting with. You said Paul, right? What? What is this? What? A... Yo. Okay, I'm just gonna feel it. Oh, you press up the Listen, Bob's crap. Hear that? Sounds of the yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense. Shit. What's going on? I don't understand this. Why are these like mud people? Well, okay, I'll go uh... in this house. Oh, you press up to move around. Well, this is an empty place. Wait, what's that? A fireplace? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. So, okay, I walk around this whole room. There's really nothing inside of it. Yeah. You can jump with the character. Yeah, the B button is definitely to jump. Mm-hmm. What's in this building? Well, here we go. Nothing. <laughs> There's nothing in here. I'll jump over this guy. Look, yo, I can freaking jump way over him. Whoa! Get away from me, dude. You snits. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm in a forest. Should I go down here? I guess I will. You can't stop me. I'm too skilled for you. Go down here, too. You go down every freaking road I come across. Is a road? Oh, I'm, ba- I'm back in the park again, eh? Oh, mm. this like a big building. Have you figured it out yet? <laughs> come on. Don't bullshit me. There's nothing here. Yep. What are all these cabins like empty or something? I don't understand it. Nobody does. This makes no sense. Wait, wait. Who's this person? It's the first person I came across. Can I talk to you? Hello? Hello? <laughs> What's cure mean? Like, from poisons and shit? I 
Hello? You can't take her, you can't cure her, you can't pass her, and the only thing to change is the freaking... That's pointless as hell. I don't understand. <laughs> like, yeah. this, makes, this makes no sense. Mm hmm. Yeah! So, I'm back out here again. This horse. Oh, I'm on a boat. What the hell? Yep. Dude. Stay in the drink. Oh, Doc. What's going on here? Hello? Disco, disco, good, good, disco, disco, good, good. a whole bunch of people finally and I can't do crap yeah I cross the damn river I don't get it what am I supposed to do with you this makes no sense wait it's dark now is that good Nobody knows. I don't understand. What if we go next? What if we go in this empty room? I can't walk any further. Look at this window. It's so big. It makes no sense. Nothing in this game makes sense. Wow. Oh, it's morning? Oh, I'm going to rowboat over here. What the fuck? What the hell's going on? Crow just attacked you. I'm so... Get away from me, dude. Throw shit at it. How do you switch characters? Oh, it's nighttime again. That makes so much sense. It really doesn't. Is it, or is it just that dark in here? There's no light bulbs. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. This... This, this is... My brain's hurting right now. I go in this building. Look at this exciting building. Tons of nothingness. Th this. Where's Jason? <laughs> I don't understand. Why is he not here? Oh my gosh. Balls. Oh, this looks like a big hallway. Maybe we should do something here. Oh, what's it? Wait, back. How do you, how do you pick up the paper? Ah. Go into the cap. Dude, what do you think I've been doing this whole time? Near the cave. Oh, so I gotta go in a cabin near a cave. Well, what is that? It's a fire. Well, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> I found a fire. Something to keep me warm at night. Maybe we should go to sleep. <laughs> so I gotta go find a freaking cave. Okay. Pull up the map. <laughs> Where, where the hell is the cave? You see that rock enclosure? Oh. So I need to yeah. go, I need to keep going this way or something. Oh, there's a knife. Yeah, knives. Wait a second. Wrong direction. So I should go this way. Aha! 
stab you in the dick. Stab you in the head. In the dick. In the dick. What the fuck? Come on, Paul. Wait, where am I? Oh, so I'm down there now. So I should go this way. Dude, I got like unlimited knives. It's awesome. Wubba lubba dub dub! Makes no sense. Shit. I was walking here. Hopefully this is the... Yeah, there's nothing in here. Another empty freaking trailer park. What the hell's going on Are here? Are you even going the right way? Yep. Yeah, I am, Diedrich. I'm going the right way for once. Stand people's dick. Then you gotta go that way. Aha! I found something. This does not sound like Friday the Thirteenth originally. No. <laughs> like this. This is like bullshit. There, keep going, because obviously this is the wrong way. Boy, I've learned something new today. Fucking birds keep coming down at me and pecking me. Wait a second. They said go in the trail in the first. Near the near the cave, right? Or did they say go in the cave? I can't remember. Fuck. All right. Well, I'm in the cave anyway. I'm gonna go fight people. What the fuck? Is, what is all this shit? What is this place? This was never in Friday the Thirteenth. I swear to God. Nope. None of this shit was. It's like Rambo all over again. Yep. What is? Where am I? How did I get here? You can't get in without a key. Are you Are you serious right now? I guess it's in one of the cabins. Bringo. <laughs> Well, I probably should go back to the dang cabin. So God dang it, Bobby! Oh, Paul died. You know, Mark's over here. There's a cabin right there. You know, they told me to come over near this cabin. There isn't shit in this fucking cabin, dude. Nothing. There's another one close to the thing there. Whoa! This is horseshit. <laughs> I can't believe this crap. I throw garbage at people. Oh my gosh, there's so much shit that's coming at me at night. It's ridiculous. Alright, I'm finally in the other cabin. Unbelievable. What's the point of being here? There's nothing here, dude. Oh, wait, what's this? Next thing you know, I hear creaky wakey. Robby, Robby, moany, moany. Oh, that's great. I I can't do anything. Times, but he didn't even break stride. I didn't know what to do. I just laid there being quiet. He was feeding the geese. This is stupid. Okay. So. Have you had what? enough? Man, what's going on anymore, dude? Have you had enough? Okay. You know what?
Yo, my balls. Playing this game makes no sense. First of all, you don't know where the hell you're going. Okay, so you can run around this map all day. I got one clue. Something about the cabin. Something about the cave. Near the cave, by the cabin, or the cave itself. And I go through the cave. There's nothing in the cave. And they somehow I go into another cabin inside the cave, which makes no sense. And there's nothing in it. So when you're going through this whole freaking area, which makes no freaking sense, and, and you're freaked up, and it's. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so cool thing is, is you get on level un unlimited weapons. You could just throw at people. Great, do it all freaking day. You know, probably could have played the whole through the whole freaking game as Paul. You know, throwing sword blades and stuff like that. Where did that get me? Nowhere. I got one clue. I went through a whole bunch of crap. I had no idea where I was going. And, um, the worst thing is, like, this has nothing to do with a movie. Like, yep. Like, you sit around thinking about it, and you're just like, I'll play some Friday the 13th. This sounds like a great Halloween movie. You know what? Let's deal with Jason Voorhees. Right? Where the hell is he? He's nowhere. He's not even. You don't, you don't see him. Sure, maybe you'll see him later on in the game as you progress. But why? Like, what does this have to do with the story of Friday the 13th? What does this have to do with everything in Friday the 13th? What the hell is going on? This makes no freaking damn sense whatsoever. Yeah, let alone the controls do kind of suck. I mean, you... you I mean... Once you can finally get used to the weird jumping motion, oh. no problem. You know, it's like a weird solution of understanding your motions as you jump. To understand your attacks. Yeah, stage one attacks suck. The stronger your attacks get, the better they are. It's like you know, fireballs at a Goomba. You win. Call it a day. But yet, let alone, it does not make no damn sense. You go through all these damn buildings. You go through all this whole place. And why? What? Why are you doing this? Why are you wasting your time doing all this crap when you're supposed to face Jason in the game? In the game's Friday the 13th, you're supposed to face Jason, and and literally. What happens in the movie? It's a movie game. You're supposed to face Jason. You're supposed to, you know, deal with his murder streak that's non-stop ongoing, which he kills people. But yeah, you're you're fighting these like weird swamp people and crap like that, and fish people jumping out of the freaking lake and stuff like that. And you gotta go find clues. This was not in a damn movie. I swear it wasn't. Nope. We'll find a clue, so I need to wear, need need to go somewhere near this mountain range over here for some reason. Bullshit! This has nothing to do with anything in the whole movie. Nothing to do with it at all. And yet, it's bullshit. Why would they do this? Who would make a Friday the Thirteenth game, which is based off a of serial killer? Who kills people? And literally, you're that that that's all he does. Goes around killing people. You know, he spawns from a freaking lake and just comes out of there. And, you know, he's pissed off and just kills people all day. That's it. Not a big deal, right? Yeah, dude's like, you should actually be Jason, Jason Voorhees. That's who you should be in this game, not a person. Your job should be being Jason. That would make mm. more sense than you being some random person from a camp. And like you're like what are you like three camper people who like watch over people? It says you're supposed to ever, like help children out. But you when I'll stand in front of the children, how am I supposed to save them? 
I did. I, I picked everything on the stupid menu, and nothing worked. W what? They're not gonna foul Paul? What's the reason? Explain it. Developers? Tell me why. Nonetheless, this is bullshit. It's like you should play as Jason. You should murder people, kill people, on the whole property. That should be your job, right? And then maybe defend yourself against the police. That would be a cool game. That would make sense. What were you thinking back during the 80s? Why did you make this game? If you make a horror game, base it off of the fucking main character. Like you did with everything else back in the day. You did it plenty of other times. You made plenty of other games that made fucking sense. But this doesn't make a gosh damn fucking sense whatsoever. It's bullshit. It's horseshit. I should just wipe my ass and watch the toilet paper just float on the toilet once again. Because that's basically what you just did to me. Because you're fucking dumbasses. Fuck you. And fuck off. For all I care. My score is a fucking zero. Once again. Fuck this game. It's official. Go ahead. You suck. Oh no. I, I think you nailed it right on that. Right on the head. Because um. Yeah. This is a balls situation. Ladies and gentlemen, that's another ball situation. Mm -hmm. it makes a lot yeah. of sense. It's, it's going to be a thing for this, I swear. It's, it's the theme. Thing. That's going on this year. It's the theme balls. Balls. It, it, and you want to know the fucked up thing about it is, see how? I can come up with 13 more. Balls games. Why? I don't think I can handle that right now. <laughs> well, think about it this way. It, we're playing Friday the 13th. We might as well just have a theme because there's 13 more balls. Jesus, much? What the fuck? 13 more balls? Like, there's more of these? Yes. Uh, game creators got game happy and uh, um, I just really didn't finish shit. It's it's like literally I'm taking your money. This is what they did back in the day. I'm gonna take your money and make a really shitty game, a real shit game, and just shit all over you. And guess what? You pay fifty bucks, and this is what you get. Wow. Yeah, game, game cartridges weren't fucking cheap back in the day. No, they weren't. Even games nowadays are not cheap. Mm -mm. So think about games, you know, you'd spend like 60, 70 bucks, 80 bucks on a game. Yep. I'm not making my game cost that much. Hell no. No way. This is bullshit. This is like... Oh my gosh! If I make a crap game, I make a crap game. All right. I'll so. live up to it. You know what? I'll do whatever it takes to fix that crap game. Because nowadays we can put updates in our games. Back in those days, they just said uh, they uh, couldn't do anything. It was well, you caught it. Sorry. Yep. Here's your game. Spend mm -hmm. fifty bucks on it. Have fun. Enjoy well, your here's the review for balls for me. You're running around a camp, and each each individual player that you character you can play as operates differently. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now I can understand one going slower, one jumping not as high not one being, you know, as strong. But when you have characters that have a diversity of being able to operate with the joystick for whatever fucked up reason, you noticed that, didn't you? Yeah. I noticed that when I was playing as um, Paul. Paul felt like I was almost playing like Mario. But when I switched over to the other guy, I was like, huh? 
Like, I was like, wait, whoa, 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 what the hell? <laughs> like, something fell off. Like, my controls felt weird. But yet, yeah, it's like decent. it's it's like going from Biohazard to DMC. Devil May Cry. That's a huge difference. Exactly. And that's how it is in retrospect. Playing as one of the characters from Resident Evil to playing in Dante and Devil May Cry. Same franchise, two different characters, two different camera setups, the whole nine yards. But now take that pattern and put it down into a 2D construct. This is not right, Dietrich. I'm telling you. Certain yeah. Wood has to really need to. And all the shit coming out, you you said it yourself. It's like Rambo. Like, that oh, makes sense. what the ever loving fuck? You, you think you'd be be cha being chased around the whole map by you know, Jason? Jason. Yes. Exactly. It makes sense. But I'm not. You're not being chased by Jason at all. You're being, you're just crap. I don't even know what the hell to call those things. Like mud people, zombies, maybe. They just come out of the grass. They the wolf? I don't know where the fucking wolf. Like, why? Why mm -hmm. stop it? In? I don't understand. This has nothing to do with the fucking movie. Not only that, but no music. No. It's as dull as crap, man. It's boring. It's like, oh my gosh. It's just like, the kids were part of the background. Literally, you can fall asleep in this game. I'm yeah. about to, because I'm just like, no excitement. There's nothing really crazy about it. It's controls are so, alright. I mean, but we're gonna do something really interesting right now. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Oh. Put it up there. Oh, well, it's a zero. Balls. <laughs> Balls. There you go. That thing right now. Balls. Balls. Terrible. Crap. All right, core fans. Oh my gosh! We'll be back to you again. Another classic game, Woodsy Hill. <laughs> this is yours truly, along with Dietrich One Eleven. I'll see you next time, and don't forget: stay strong, live on, and be kind to one another, and keep on gaming. We got thirteen more. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna go insane!